Hey, what's up guys? This video, we're going to be talking about how to create an interface in Java and the interface is where we can define particular behaviors and then implement that interface. Pramp is a free mock interview platform where you can develop your technical interviewing skills. Practice coding with live execution of all major programming languages to solve real interview questions. Interview types include data structures and algorithms, product management, behavioral interviews, system design, front end, and data science. I've personally used this service to successfully crash course for a software engineering interview. Lots of people are having success getting positions at companies like Amazon, Google, Twitter, and more. Check it out, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. So what we need to do is right click on our project and click new, interface. You can either create your interface name as some general kind of object such as animal or you can be specific to a particular action such as walking. So for example, I'm just going to call this walk and in here we can put the signatures for the methods that we want classes that implement this interface to have. So for example, oh man, I didn't want to put walk. I wanted to say talk. Dang it. <laughs> we're going to do talk and we're also going to change the file name. Or you can just hover over this and rename file to talk.java. There we go. Oh yeah. And in here we can make the method that we want anyone that implements this interface to have, which we can call say hello, which we've been using throughout this video series. And what is the return type for this? We're just going to say void. So I'm assuming it's going to say hello to the console. You could also make a string version that returns the message, whatever you want. Now to use this interface, it's actually really easy. So go into a class such as student, and you can see that this extends user, but it's also going to implement talk with a capital T. We could do that for the other classes as well. We'll even do it inside a user. So this one implements talk and so does teacher. Now when you implement an interface, you're going to be required to have the methods defined in this interface, specifically say hello. So if we were to get rid of the say hello method, and we're also going to need to get rid of it in the, the parent class, which was giving me an issue earlier, I forgot about it, because it's going to inherit this say hello method. So we need to get rid of it just to see this error. And now inside a teacher, you can see we get an error. And it says, it must implement the inherited abstract method talk dot say hello. So what we can do is we can say add unimplemented methods and we can put whatever we want in here. So you can see that the interface forces a class to meet certain expectations. Specifically, they must have certain methods. You can implement numerous interfaces, so you can basically break out different behaviors or different structures for objects into interfaces and then implement those. That way, anyone that implements talk in this situation, we can trust it to have a say hello method. So going into student, we can do a similar thing. Let's get rid of that call. That's just giving us an error. And you can see we still have that say hello method, so we're not getting any issues. Then in our program, what we can do is we can actually make a collection. So we'll make a list, and this type here is going to be talk. And then we can just say things that talk, <laughs> and we'll assign this a new array list. Now the things that can go in this list must implement the interface. So for example, we can say things that talk.add and pass in s and that will work. In the next video, we'll be talking a little bit more about some things you should know with methods. It should be pretty fun, so go check it out, and thank you for watching.